Ticket is a conversational service desk from Microsoft Teams that meets users where they are and scales with you throughout your Microsoft Cloud journey. Whether you're just getting started or looking for ways to integrate disparate teams across your organization, Ticket brings it all together in a familiar experience. Let's start with the most common scenario that happens between employees inside of Teams, requests arising from natural conversation. In this case, Diego, our IT agent on the right and seen here in dark mode, is having a conversation with Adele, a retail manager in the organization seen here on the left in light mode. Now, Adele is having some trouble with her laptop and Diego really needs to be able to work this as an incident. And fortunately he can do that by taking this message and immediately turning it into a ticket. And when he does this, he's going to fill out a few details. For example, this is an incident. Uh, let's make sure that it goes to the right group desktop and submit. Now, since we pick the IT team and desktop group, this is going to end up in that team and that channel as configured in Teams and Ticket. Now, let's close this, head over to Teams, and you're going to see that over in desktop group, there's our new ticket. You'll also notice we have a few other groups configured here, such as networking, operations, server maintenance, and more. Since all team members have access to all channels, that means they can move between these different groups, leave comments, and assign tickets elsewhere. While creating an incident from a message no doubt resonates with service desk agents, if you're looking to level up the employee experience and know this in a truly artificially intelligent way, Ticket Virtual Agent presents its knowledge base and service catalog entirely through chat so employees can get help when they need it or submit their next request. That said, let's get our new hire request offering started. And all I have to do is say new employee. Now with this form, uh, let's onboard Harvey Birdman. He's gonna be our lead counsel. He's gonna be working inside of legal, of course, and he's gonna be full time. And once I've filled this form out, all I have to do is click submit and my request has been started. The ticket works beyond just the IT department, whether it's accounting, HR, or even project-based teams. Just like how Teams organizes users and defines their permissions, every team maintains its own silo of tickets. And with Ticket Virtual Agent, all the departments across your organization can be funneled through a single request experience. Say, for example, I had a question about my company benefits. In lieu of a knowledge article or request offering, I, as the requester interacting with Ticket Virtual Agent, can choose where this ticket goes. Let's make sure this goes to HR and submit. Now, as a follow-up, let's say I had a question about getting some new graphics for the website. I could say, get some updated layouts for the website. And when I submit that, I will once again choose where this goes. In this case, this should go to marketing and submit. And what you can see has happened on the team side is that those respective teams and their respective channels have received notifications for those tickets that have recently been created. Again, whether you're part of one, five, or a hundred teams, Ticket operates within your configured teams and their configured channels, but also you have the opportunity to move to Ticket's agent portal. Here you can see all of the tickets for all of the departments that you have access to, but you also have the opportunity to see all of the tickets, tasks, and approvals assigned just to you, or, all of the tickets, tasks, and approvals assigned to you and your group. Inside of Ticket's agent portal, which you can access using M365 authentication, you can create tickets, perform a one-time export, administer ticket settings, and of course, edit tickets. Let's check in on the new hire request and see where things are. In this case, we have an onboarding request, and it's currently in the interview phase. No other work has been done, and no other work will be done until this phase completes. And to complete this phase and move forward, all Nestor has to do is complete this task for the lifecycle to progress. Additionally, we can also look ahead to see the type of work that has yet to begin, such as any upcoming approvals or any upcoming tasks assigned to agents.
Ticket also offers a Power Automate connector, enabling citizen developers across your organization the ability to integrate Microsoft and non-Microsoft technologies all in a low-code, no-code solution. For example, let's say we have a ticket with a currently active onboarding lifecycle. With our connectivity to Power Automate, we can read data in from Ticket and use that to drive user creation directly inside of Microsoft Entra. Once that user has been created, we can then, in parallel, leave a comment on the ticket that started this flow, and if we so choose, perform additional tasks, such as updating a Power BI report within the organization. In this way, we can ensure that relevant stakeholders always have the latest information they need on hand, and all of this ultimately resulting in processes that were once manual, now turning automated, saving hours for everyone involved. For customers looking to do reporting beyond what's offered out of the box in Ticket, we also extend further into the Microsoft ecosystem with integrations for Excel and Power BI. With our Excel and Power BI integrations, fully interactive dashboards are but a click away. Both offer familiar experiences for their respective audiences and enable truly live up to the second reporting as they both connect directly to your ticket environment. For example, let's say in Power BI was interested in the kind of work Diego has been doing. By simply clicking on his name, the dashboard adjusts all related charts for you. And best of all, should you publish this dashboard into SharePoint or Teams, that same experience still carries forward. Apart from Teams, Ticket also integrates with Microsoft's mobile device management platform, Intune, which means you have access to device information and control right from Ticket's agent portal. You can get there by navigating to users and selecting a user, or contextually right from a ticket. Let's look at this ticket from Adele about some updates not applying on her desktop. Now, while I of course can edit this ticket by uploading some attachments or changing some properties, I also have access to information about Adele's account as it exists in M365. And all I need to do is click on her name to get there. Now, once this is loaded, I'll just head over to Link Devices, where I can see all of Adele's Intune devices. I can see their information and take specific Intune actions, such as retiring, wiping, rebooting, or going straight to the Intune portal. If you're interested in experiencing Ticket for yourself, we offer a fully functional 14-day trial absolutely free. In fact, we're so committed to the success of Ticket that we'll even help you set up and configure in a complimentary setup call. Just head on over to Ticket.ai to get started now.